Hello everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I've got an interesting story to share with you guys. This one is about how biomeds interact with physicians or care providers. So this happened to me a few years ago. A member of my team went to check on an anesthesia machine that had a bag to vent switch issue. The seriousness of it is that if you are still giving ventilations and you click over the bag, it's supposed to stop the ventilations instantly and it was not doing that. This is usually because of a faulty micro switch on the GE anesthesia machines. Or maybe the switch isn't faulty, maybe it just needs adjusting. But either way, that's not the point of the story. So the physician called the Biomed, uh, he's a Biomed 3, called him down and asked him to check out the machine. So he goes there and he flicks the switch back and forth a few times and it's working so he tells the doctor that it's working fine and the doctor says I don't trust this machine it's still got issues and uh, Biomed reassured him that everything was fine well what happened is on a case following that the machine acted up again and it interrupted patient care. Then the biomeds got called down. I wasn't there, but other biomeds were called down and the biomed that walked into the room was not the one that had this problem and the doctor was yelling at him. Get this machine out of here. I want another machine and, and various profanity. I can't honestly blame him. I can't. See, the problem is, and what biomeds don't understand, is it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. It doesn't matter if the doctor's right or wrong. When they use key phrases like, I don't trust this machine, or I don't trust this equipment, or I think it'll do it again, anytime the doctors suspend their trust in a device, it's our job to regain that trust. And how do you do that? You do it by changing out the equipment. It doesn't matter if there's nothing wrong with that device, especially on a life support device. If the doctor says, I don't trust this device, you do your best to get it out of the room. You know, by all means, take it someplace else and give it a function check. But you give them another device that they will trust in. Because could you imagine the doctor said he didn't trust the device, he was reassured by the biomed, and then he went and he put somebody under with that device that he didn't trust. So the whole time he was worried about, is the device gonna mess up, is it not? He should have been just focused completely on patient care. So it's more than just a liability issue, it's more so about keeping the physician's focus on the patient, not on the equipment. So that's pretty much the end of this story. I got involved with it after that because I was the team leader and we're at fault for everything, you know, regardless of whether or not we were even there because it's my team. And one of the things I should have told my team before that even happened is if a physician ever, ever says that they don't trust a piece of equipment, especially a life support device, take it out of the room. Help them get a, a replacement unit. Do not keep the unit in the room, even if there's nothing wrong with it. Because if the physician's focus is on the device and not on the patient, you are given less than optimal patient care. So that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you like it. It's a real quick one, but it's a very serious issue. Our job is to maintain trust in the equipment. So I hope you like the video, guys. Thanks for watching.